What's going on guys, Aussie here and welcome back to our brand new video. So today we have the 90 overall team of the season so far card, Al Summer. Now this card, a lot of people was asking for. They remember this card from previous FIFAs and they remember how overpowered it was. So he is 90 overall, he has 89 pace, 92 dribbling, 94 shooting, 93 physical with 82 passing as well. He is 6 foot 3 and for me personally, I absolutely despise 6 foot 3 slash 6 foot 4 strikers it's something that i never really got used to i got used to six foot but anything above six foot is a bit of a problem for me now the high low work rates aren't the perfect attacking work rates but it just simply i'm gonna have to put stay, uh, stay central on him and hope hope he's attacking position and comes into play now his three star skill moves isn't gonna allow me to do like the burber standing scoop turn or any of those skill moves and I'm going to have to probably deal with like the LB fake shot, the three star hill to hill flick, which is not going to be amazing. Now, the four star weak foot will actually allow me to cut onto that left foot and, abs and actually shoot with it. Now, he is on an engine chem style. He is on 10 chem, 94 acceleration, 94 sprint speed. A pretty fast player for a player that is six foot three. It's something I personally wasn't expecting. Now, he should be outpacing most center backs. There will be obviously some center backs that will catch up to him. For example, a Parva, Team of the Year, Virgil those you know really really fast center backs will actually catch up to him now shooting wise he has 90 attack positioning 95 finishing with 99 shot power no outside foot shot trait finesse shot trait or chip shot trait but for me personally i don't believe it's going to matter because that shot power is absolutely going to carry this thing that uh the shot pretty much into the back of the net now he's got 90 long shots 79 volleys and 90 penalties as well he's got 89 vision 85 crossing 97 free kick accuracy 88 short passing 87 long passing and 82 curve now if we talk about passing wise this guy can actually pass the ball in a striker position now i'm guessing he's more of a target man than anything but if we're actually looking at these dribbling stats 91 agility 93 balance 99 reactions 99 ball control 99 dribbling and 89 composure for a six foot three player to have 91 agility that surprises me a little bit. Like, that's something I don't expect. But I'm expecting him to be very nice on the ball, do the little twist and turns, and keep the ball very close to his feet. He has 72 jumping with nice ball heading accuracy, six foot three. I would say he'll be out heading six foot two and below. I wouldn't even give it give his own height because his jumping is terrible. Now he's got 90 stamina, which means lasting for the whole 90 minutes shouldn't be a problem. 99 strength is gonna cause a lot of centre backs problems. With the 76 aggression, it just simply means it won't be making him faster. And he'll be winning some 50-50s. He won't be winning all of them. Now, today I have linked him up with, I believe it's it's pronounced Dejani, I believe is how you pronounce it. And uh, Guanka, if you guys haven't seen that review, the link will be in the description. I've also got the likes of St. Maximum, Suzoko, and Goretzka in the team. I will be using Al Sommer in a 4-4-2, obviously playing him up front, probably with St. Maximum. But I also want to try him in that lone striker role, so I will be playing him in a 4-2-3-1 as well. But let's get straight into these games. So the first thing we always do is just check how agile he is on the ball. Look at that, man. That is beautiful dribbling. He keeps it very close to his feet as well, which means these little twists and turns should be perfect. Nice. That was a really good twist and turns. Beautiful pass as well. Terrible, terrible touch from Suzoko. And that's why we didn't end up getting the finish. But even though the terrible finish, it was a really good pass from El Soma, And he did really well to get the angle. What a touch. I'm going to bring it back onto his right foot. Oh, we just couldn't get the finish. Virgil van Dijk, the AI Virgil van Dijk, doing what he does best pretty much and blocking shots. But Al Som is looking very, very nice on the ball. I love his little twist and turns inside the box. Little touch and, touch and turn. Can I get a little fake shot around the corner as well? Ball roll. There you go. That is beautiful. Oh, come on, man. I need that goal. I need to get the first goal. We've had like three games now and every single one has rage quit in the first like 20, 25 minutes. And we can't really get a goal with him, which is a bit disappointing because he's doing so well to get into the angles. It's just we can't get the final product. Come on, use that pace. Use that pace. Oh, look how fast he is. He is ridiculous, honestly. For a six foot three guys have run this fast is something I never really expected. Saint. Al Sommer, twist and turns, half track back, fake shot, 
Ball roll into the inside. That is beautiful. Can we get a finish? Look at that four-star weak foot coming into play. Honestly, like the little footworks from him is unbelievable. And the fact that he actually got past that player with just like a simple ball roll shows how close he keeps the ball to his feet. Like it's very, very hard to tackle someone when they keep the ball that close to your feet. But look at that finish. Come on now. That is beautiful. Sissoko, Goretzka, Al Sommer, little fake shot around the corner. It should be a beautiful goal. And just like that, it is. What a finish. Honestly, his positioning is incredible. That attacking positioning really, really coming into play. And the high-low work rate really showing because I exp usually when I do high-low work rate players, they stand behind centre-backs, they make a lot of runs, and it just kind of gets annoying. But with El Sommer, I am starting to realise that he sits in front of centre-backs a lot and allows me just to give him a... Sorry, he gives me a passing option, and it's just a fake shot, and it's into the back of the net pretty much every time I shoot. To Goretzka, Goretzka to El Sommer. Little twist and turns. I'm actually going to go for Finesse, getting blocked, I believe that is, from Smalling. Super disappointed, but I didn't actually believe they had a chance of going in. Little shimmy to the right. Fake shot around the corner. Look at this. It's beautiful. I'm going to go for a cross goal shot. It took his time. Now, that could be potentially because of the delay I'm playing in right now. Gameplay doesn't feel amazing. But it also could be just his reactions not really coming into play there. Which is always, always going to be disappointing to be fair. But it's one of those ones where I believe he should, have been, he should be finishing out, you know, every day of the week. But somehow he hasn't. That is beautiful. I'm actually going to go around that player one more time. Oh, not the greatest of finishes as well. And that, like, that chance is clear cut. That is a guaranteed goal every day of the week, 100%. Players like Neymar, even Gold Mbappe can finish that. And I'm pretty sure everyone knows how I don't really like Gold Mbappe this year because of his finishing. I'm pretty sure he would have finished that. And the fact that El, uh, like El Sommer hasn't is a bit disappointing. Nice, really good run. Touch finish it should be a goal that should have been a goal if if the play didn't get involved but it was a really good run from him and a little good one too nice that's a really good turn but he just couldn't get away and he actually got bodied off the ball now for me a person that has that much strength to get bodied off the ball i have to see it come down to probably balance or aggression him not really fighting for for the ball as i want him to but the fact that 99 strength gets bodied that easily is a bit disappointing. Oh my god, that is something I did not expect. Three star, three star, heel to heel once again. Finishing coming into play. And how he has not finished this one, I will never understand because he has he's not moved the keeper. Not moved the keeper at all. It's a perfect angle. It's a guaranteed goal. And somehow he hits it right at the goalkeeper. So we do have a corner here, and why not? Let's try it. He is six foot three. I do understand he hasn't got the greatest jumping, but he's got amazing heading accuracy, which means if he actually got it, he will probably make it go into the back of the net. But it's clear of day that he just got out headed there, especially he was in front of the centre back as well, which gave him, you know, a higher chance of getting it because I was holding LT. But still, he couldn't shield off the guy from, you know, the guy behind him, and somehow he couldn't win the header. Nice little twist and turns. But once again, one thing I am starting to notice is his acceleration touch is not great. And that's why he's probably getting caught up when I'm taking the second touch. Because he doesn't push the he doesn't push the ball further enough in front of him. But he doesn't he doesn't accelerate towards it, which is something I don't really like. Nice, good run. That's a really good one too. Oh my god, that acceleration. No. What I was trying there was shielding off the player. But he couldn't really turn his body fast enough, which was a bit of a problem. Come and use that pace. I understand it is Grimaldo. He's probably most likely the team of the season, Grimaldo. I understand he is fast, but you're faster. No, that is always, always going to be annoying. What I actually tried there was I did the fake shot around the corner to try to get him into a shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder animation using his 99 strength pretty much to his full potential there and seeing if he could actually body off Grimaldo. Same Max. Al Sommer. Facial around the corner. Can I get a finish? Yes, I can. Now, this guy watched the whole replay. He did that relaxed, you know, celebration as well when he scored. But Al Sommer onto the other side. It's a beautiful fake shot round Van Dyke, and it's an unbelievable finish to the near post. Really, really interesting to see that these chances with him go in after I do a fake shot. But then the clear cut chances that I had, I believe it was like a game or two ago didn't go in it's quite interesting it's like he's an inconsistent shooter even though he's got amazing shooting stats past the saint 
Pass that Osama. Osama actually onto the left foot. He uses his right foot. Now, personally, I don't mind that because usually when you, you oh, sorry, when you use your right foot there, you get the right foot across the goal. Okay, and that gives the keeper less chance of actually, you know, saving it. But if he used the left foot there with a four-star weak foot, is this gonna go in? I'm not sure. That's what we're here to find out. So it is time to review him and let me say four games played and it's actually four goals. He disconnected, before, disconnected me from the EA servers. We all know how the EA servers go. It gives you a game played onto the card, but it doesn't give you the goals apparently you scored. But you know, whatever, whatever. It's four games played, four goals. You clearly saw four goals. Now, he is six foot three and that wasn't that big of an issue for me because he actually felt really, really good on the ball. The high, low work rates, I didn't see that as a problem either simply because of the attacking positioning was so, so good. The three star skill moves, it's something I'm not used to because I like four-star skill movers or five-star skill moves because I love the scoop turn this year. It is so, so overpowered. But it wasn't at the end of the world because the fake shot around the corner was like really, really fast of him. Now, the four-star weak foot does feel like a four-star. There is chances the ball goes in, but there's chances the ball does not. Now, pace-wise, he is insanely fast. But when he takes a touch, standing touch, and then you move it to a side... He does not take an acceleration touch straight after. You have to take a few touches first and then it starts accelerating. Which was a bit annoying for me. It was hard to find these angles that I wanted with him. Now, shooting wise, he is a insanely, insanely inconsistent shooter. And I don't understand why because someone that has 95 finishing and 99 shot power, you would expect something different, you know. You expect a person that would put, be putting pretty much everything into the back of the net. But for some reason, he was hitting key part, he was hitting post, and I was like, uh, what's happening here? There was chances that, you know, the guaranteed chances that he missed, but there was other guaranteed chances that he put into the back of the net. So very, very inconsistent. Passing-wise, is something I absolutely adored, adored from him, simply because he could do these over-top three balls, he could thread the needle, he could do the one-twos, the give and goes. He was literally perfect at it. Dribbling, he feels really, really good on the ball. Yeah, he doesn't feel like, you know, Neymar or Messi, because that will be unrealistic, let's all be fair. But he does feel really good on the ball and he keeps it very calm and composed and takes a really good touch. Now, stamina wise, he did last throughout the whole 90 minutes. So that was always something that, that I love to see. Strength didn't feel like 99 strength. That is something I can say. Now, I don't know if it's to do with like balance or aggression, him not just having that, that fighting spirit. But he was sometimes getting bodied off the ball with like players like Virgil van Dijk. And I do understand Virgil is, you know, one of those players that most people are going to be getting bodied by. But if we're looking realistically, El Sommer's got 99 strength, right? And the guy was using Gold Van Dyke. As far as I know, Gold Van Dyke hasn't got 99 strength unless they got some, you know, some chem style on him that puts him 99 strength. But still, they should have like a proper good fight between each other. But El Sommer, sorry about it, El Sommer was pretty much getting bodied to the ground. Like, what? I'm just so confused about that. It's crazy to see. But I do believe it's because of his aggression that... Van Dyke had more aggression. He was fighting for the ball and he wanted the ball more. While Sommer was pretty much like backing away and had pretty much allowed him to get bodied. Now, we have to give him a rating out of 10. I'm going to give him an 8. Mm, I'm going to give him an 8. 8.5 out of 10. Mm, no, no, 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10, I believe, is perfect because he's not insane. He's not. He's got a three-star skill moves, which is a bit of a killer. Six foot three was not that noticeable because of how good the dribbling was. But I don't like how he was shooting the ball. It was something I didn't like. And if so, if you're telling me 99 strength, this guy better stand on his feet when someone like Virgil, you know, tries to body him. He wasn't. He was getting body off the ball, shifted off the ball, and he started tumbling over. And that is something I'm never going to like. But if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like, leave a comment. And for now, peace.